In line with the federal government's efforts to revive the ailing cotton sector and the landmark approval of the commercial cultivation of the Mahiko Bolga 2 hybrid cotton seeds, record successes have been achieved across 12 states where demonstrations have been carried out. Experts like Dr. Rose Gidadu, country coordinator of the Open Forum for Agricultural Biotechnology, say the adoption of Mahiko Bolga 2 hybrid seeds has the potential to bring in the much needed cotton revolution in the country. Yeah, um, the, actually the, the main aim of um, deploying this technology down here to Adamal State, the AFCOT is actually one of um, the main reasons, it's Maribound. And why is it Maribound? It's because of lack of uh, quality raw materials. You know, these seeds, they give you good um, cotton balls and what, and then good length, you know, quality, fiber strength and all those things, all those parameters, they meet them. And so that's why we brought it here. We brought it so that AFCOT will be revamped. It's in the plan of um, our, you know, partner, that's Mahiku Nigeria Limited. Is actually in the plan to revive the AFCOT. But before that, I know that this year, I've seen it myself, uh, the farms, they are really uh, looking very great with high vigor, you know, um, productivity. So, I mean, one plant can give you 200 balls, 100 balls. This can only happen around here. And so Adama is actually a very good, um, it's very, a very strategic um, place to really do this. Around here, I think it's difficult because the generator here is not working. They have cut. If, 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 but if, I, if, I, if, I it's possible, link... if it's possible, they can harmonize all their, uh, their. They can get it together and probably call. For... We have so many off takers in Kaduna. Okay. Uh, Kaduna, Kano, Axis, Abuja. Um, they're actually looking for this particular. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, because the leads, they give uh, very leads with the required fiber strength and what fiber quality. Aiko is a is a seed company because they don't dwell only on cotton, but for now we have cotton seed in Nigeria, which is a hybrid. We have majorly two varieties that has been approved by Nigerian government after undergoing series of testing and they satisfy that the variety is good enough. The two varieties is BG2571 and BG2567. And they have some traits that make them to be outstanding over other cotton variety. The BG variety has a tendency to protect his bowl from bowl worms. Usually uh, the major constraint in cotton industry is the infestation of bowl worm, how bowl worm reduce the quality of seed and the quantity. So with the BG technology had given answers to all those loss that the farmer are getting from their product. Above all, it's a hybrid. We know how hybrid operate. Hybrid gives you tendency to give you more yield. With BG variety, an average management will give a farmer one times more than what he used to get. If he gets one ton, under average management, he's going to get two tons or more. We have studies that have shown that BG has tendency to give per hectare 
uh, yield up to four to five hectares, uh, five tons per hectare. It depends on your management. If you want more, you improve the, the, this. It has tendency to exceed the average yield. Observation so far, because if from the time we tested it, the first time we tried it, we observed that it's outstanding. It has, it has different traits that have overseed what we used to know. And all they said about the cotton variety, we've seen it literally on the ground. And it's it resists best. You find out that except for the non-BG variety, we put a mist of it, which we've made it. Uh, it's a way of sustaining the variety. It's a way of sustaining the variety because if we make the variety close-ended, it will, it will, it will make pests to grow resistance over it. So we had to inoculate 20% of non-BG variety in it, so that it gives the the, the pests a place to. Uh, should, we, should we say lay up their hang, anger so that they will not, if they if they met, they will not grow resistance against the, the variety. That's a method of sustaining the variety over years. And the plan we have for the farmers to sustain this uh, hybrid is that from the from the first time we got the seed, we invited the farmers, we told them the old seed they, are, they have been using. It's not yielding very much because a farmer can farm one hectare. It ended at the, at, the, at the end of the harvest having 500 to 600 kilograms per hectare, which is bad. So with this hybrid now, farmer is getting up to two, three, up to five tons per hectare. So uh, by putting all the requirements, by putting correct fertilizer in good time, planting in good time, and then doing the management. So uh, for this. When the seed came this time around, it's not uh, for the first time during uh, trials, we gave them free. So a lot of them, they came and then they, they accepted the seed and we have do the trial with them. So it has been successful. So this year, the seed came, this time not free. We sold the seed to the farmers. So the farmers are crying of the high price. But at the end of the day, by seeing the crop now, they have seen something that at least the seed is not costly because the local variety has been shedding. You can see the high plant with no, with no balls. But with this, you see a lot of balls and the farmer is not spraying any chemical for that. So they are happy. They are saying that this seed should continue coming. So with this, the high price of the seed. Now, uh, uh, the company is trying to do the seed multiplication here in Nigeria. A farmer stands a chance of getting one more higher than what he used to get on an average management. If he wants it more, he gets more by improving his management. So if a farmer, if a single farmer can boast of, let's assume a, a farmer that has two hectares, he gets three tons per hectare, meaning in two hectares he's getting six tons. The average price of six tons should be, uh, a, a ton should be around uh, like the last purchasing, uh, the last uh, scale they bought last last year around 160 170 you see 170,000 by six a farmer is close to being a millionaire so if a farmer intensifies his effort and diversify more getting more hectares to him is a, is a plus to the farmer you find out that the farmers Nigerian farmers will be both to be called millionaires just within three month season Apart from demonstrating the value of hybrids and the technology to farmers in their own fields, 
seed production trainings were taken up in two states with the objective of capacity building pertaining to seed production within the country. So, so far for the seed multiplication, we have 150 farmers that were marked in Adamawa State for that project. If, if this farmer gets to understand the, the principles of the seed multiplication, how to go about it, you see in the near future will not be important. Importation costs and other things had been the reasons why the cost of the seed is relatively higher. By the time we are not importing, we are producing the seed here, we have source sufficiency of producing the seed locally. By so doing, the price will be relatively moderate for every farmer. And you find out that Nigerian farmers, our goal in the near future is to see every farmer that grows cotton will be BG cotton, because it's happening in India. India started it some years ago, and right now every farmer grows BG cotton. Uh, by growing BG cotton, we are improving our economy. Every farmer will have something to boast of at the end of every season. All demonstration plots visited in Shelling and Demsa local government areas in Adamao State and even in the federal capital Abuja, the desired improvements have been observed. Wanda auduga, wanda mukasaba no ma wa ada, bata girma kama wanda. Sanam kuma bata abada ya ya kama wanda yanda muka yanda na gani abanakiana. Sanam kuma wanda mukio no ma wa da muna fiskanta nyawa mpe shinguari, amam wanda ding. Bama piskantam peshun kwari kwa lakin baya na zo na ga itashe da 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 hannan mai maganin kwari na face to akwai randa mun wannan yana da ciki suka zo da wani bature saboda na dauka irin wancan din ne kare affecting din gonan gaba daya na nemo maganin kwari na face to daga nan kwana na face sai na ga da daya ma yayi sauki to da suka sake zuwa suka ce a maganin kwarin nan ma kan na sake amfani da shi ba damuwa in ci gaba da maganan taki yawa to yanzu kaman kwana biyar da ya wushe ma alamis kenan da ya wushe nan mun zo mun yi feshin taki muna jira kuma mun dan samu ruwan sama wuri ya sanyi nan da mako daya nan da kwana uku kuma zamu zo mu sake yanzu dai maganar taki ne zamu dinga ai amfani da shi so you see them what so you see balls With the textile industry still moribund, the off-takers for the cotton when harvested casts a gloom for the farmer, but Dr. Rose Girado says plans are underway to ensure the farmer does not regret the bumper harvest. But for now, I have, I listen to them when they talk about, complain about off-takers and what. That is the main problem around here. I think I've even had it before. Today is the second time I'm hearing. And so we have started uh, making arrangements to uh, link them up with off-takers 
in Kaduna. You know, in Kaduna to Kanu Axis, they have so many um, other textile industries. So I've linked them up with, I've spoken to um, Alaji Salmanu Abdullahi, who is in Kaduna. He's the chairman of Gina's Association. He's also one of the off takers, but there are many. So um, already he says they should form group, they should come together and um, they should send him a contact person, they will be liaison. As soon as they have it, I mean, they should be guaranteed of that. I think that has been put in place. And it will get better by each year. Next year, it will be better before the Afghan year is, I mean, is um, revamped. The pressure of the insects on the crop yes. would uh, make them to begin to grow resistance. Oh, uh -huh. to come and attack. And they want to attack, know. but it won't go well with them. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, after a while so, they become uh -huh. resistant. And then after a while, uh -huh. you know, they have to survive. Exactly. Uh -huh. And once they grow that resistance, it's too bad. That's too, too bad for us. So that's why they Refugia, we call this refugia. You have to put the you know, non transgenic components in it. Some people, what they do is they don't mix the seeds, they plant, they plant the non transgenic round uh -huh. so that when the insects come here and they can't fit, so they have they to go, go there, back yeah. and here. <laughs> but like the Mahiko people say that they prefer to mix it up. Okay. Just to reduce the insect pressure. Uh, initially, okay. they are doing that. Yeah. So it's planting it's, by it's the border, but uh, the, the plant. farmers will just throw away that one. Yeah. And okay. plant yeah. those yeah. one. And if they give the farmers the, the other one that to plant, oh, they don't really? they 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 throw it away. Okay. 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 So the only thing is okay. to mix, mix it mix inside it. the yeah. seed. When it's there, mix it and they there's no way they can. So you do it 20%.